Hi, good evening, Mike and Ray. Tonight we're near the Howard train line and this area, which was flooded earlier in the day with police, paramedics and firefighters is back to normal now after a very frightening start to the morning for a number of L train passengers. Just after 1030 Thursday morning, well, the rear of the equipment, which has caused injuries on the train at this time. CPD and CFD are in route. Emergency responders rushed into action on the L tracks near the Howard L station. I don't even know the words to describe it. I'm still traumatized. Shayla Smith was on a red line train when a nearby yellow line train collided head on with snow removal equipment. The CTA refers to as a snow removal train. Paramedics quickly began to triage and treat the patients. Fire officials say 23 of the 38 people involved in the accident were transported to local hospitals. Two to three individuals left the scene in critical condition. Ah! Head injuries, bumps, bruises. According to CFD District Chief Robert Jurowitz, the yellow line train coming from Skokie was traveling normal speed while the equipment traveling on the same tracks was moving pretty slow. The National Transportation Safety Board will lead the investigation into why the accident occurred. In a statement, CTA states it intends to cooperate fully with the NTSB. Katya Bonilla watched the scene unfold from a high rise near the Howard Station, hoping the very best for everyone involved. All I could think about was the conductor okay, like all the people in that first cart, like I can just only imagine the type of terror they went through. Now again, as we mentioned, yellow line service is still down tonight, but passengers can go on to the CTA's website to get updates. Also, uh, to our knowledge, all the other train lines are operating normally. Reporting live near the Howard train line, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.